بالجفن مفتوح وانطال هجرك علي لك سرو Old, he spoke and said, I, Wa'ad, son of Muhammad al Safadi, understood my story before I was born. While I was still in my mother's womb, I was twice thrown out of my homeland. It caused me pain to first see light in a foreign land, so I resisted. I held on to the wall of my mother's womb until she could go back and give birth to me in my own land. My heart says Ismail is not well. I know Smail like I know myself. He's a rock. The Israelis won't get a thing banging their heads against him. Is this the house of Ismail al Safadi? Yes, and you have him in prison. Ah, he was wife? Take it easy, you're scaring the baby. Ah, he was the wife of Ismail al Safadi. Yes. Take her. Where to? Just none of your Take business. Take me instead. Get out of the baby. God his wife. May God break your heart. Yes, shut up. I am a doctor unable to treat his patient because he cannot overcome his own repulsion. As a psychiatrist, I found myself in many distressing situations. But this is the first time I've felt such melancholia, such disgust and fatigue. Do you miss being sick? I miss compassion and someone... Would you like a flower? They look more beautiful in your hands. Are you having marital problems? Do you want a song or a story? Shall we continue the story of beautiful David? You do understand what I'm telling you. I know you understand. And Goliath looked at David with disdain because he was a beautiful blonde lad. Goliath said to David, let us begin and your flesh will become food for the birds of the sky and the beasts of the wilderness. Help me and be quiet. I'm starting to sweat. You're spoiled from too much pampering. For God's sake, don't make fun of me. You're making too much out of this. Why don't you tell me what the problem is? You never talk about work. There's no problem. My job's the same. Nothing's changed. But you barely see you. We have a lot of work these days. Maybe it's stress from your job. I've been more exhausted than this before. But I've never not been able to. Baba insists on you. I have a doctor's appointment. Stop kidding, it's hard. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm telling you, I have an appointment at five. Then you can get there late. Or should I tell him that the job is too much for you? Don't be an idiot. Then give your gorgeous wife a hug and get ready. You have an enticing get-together scheduled this afternoon. Okay, okay. Didn't you promise to him you'd stop drinking? Spare me the sermon. I won't spare you the sermon. I don't want you to destroy yourself more than you already have. I've had it up to here with the stars. Well, I've had it up to here too. Does the work scare you? What work? Impotence. You want to say you're suffering from sexual impotence? Yes. And it frightens me very much. It's a difficult job. If it weren't for our vigilance, the security of the Jewish state would be in peril. Do we treat them harshly? It's necessary. It's the only language these barbarians understand. Sir, he's the accused confession you asked me to get. This is a new speed record. They took turns with her. There was screaming and curses and loud music. In situations like this, we use music. Get supplies, sir. God help us. Suddenly I could feel my chest contracting. I took out the razor and went toward him. You know, Arab women, they shave the pubic hair. Her vagina was smooth and smeared with fluid from the others. Ismail, here we meet. Forgive me, Dalal. I felt like I had a fever. I started cutting her flesh down there. I cut her vagina and breasts. Then the ear stopped me. Sweat was pouring out of me. They were both unconscious. Did you know 
Israel has a smell, a horrific smell that fills my pores and entrails. Israel has stamped its brand upon me, and nothing will wash it away but death. Part of our Zionist upbringing is constantly teaching us the hate. But those who raise us do not consider there is a limit beyond which psychologically human beings cannot go. We can only hurt this enemy if we're filled with despair and hatred. And anything that threatens one's stability can simply be shut out. But who can give himself to absolute hatred and not fall to pieces? Our country, with its ever-expanding borders. In my country, where is it? How would I know? Go ask the castrated Arabs. We were born here, so were our parents and our grandparents. We've been woven into it for centuries. Go up to Al Jalil, down to Haifa, contemplate the walls of Akka everywhere. Speak some our history. Take any olive tree. Strip its bark away, and you'll find the sweat of my fathers and their fathers running through it. This is my homeland. This place is the placenta to my past. History must be a mad thief to hand it to imperialists who justify their death with a myth and enforce it with tanks. Are you finished? Let's give him a hand, boys. See how terrorists think? I'll shoot your holy trees at the balls of your grandfather up your ass! Calm down, Moshe. Are you sure no one followed you? Yes, the road was empty. What about Muhammad? Did he see you? I don't think so. I didn't see him. Good, it's better that way. Why? Never mind. Let's put down your load. The hiding place is ready. I was hoping your first pregnancy would be less dangerous. What are you doing here? Nothing. I want to... What do you want? To see the baby. I want to see the baby. Dispense with the lies. Tell me what you want. Don't tell him my face. Are you spying on us? What? Let someone tell me what's It's hard. It's hard. Wake up, my master, again. I'm not having any of that. Explain innocence with me. You knew very well what I wanted from you. It never occurred to me you'd get it this way. Just fear of that. What's the difference? I admit so. I prefer it rough. You raped me! It was a suitable end. For whom? You or Mr. Meir? For everyone. Principally you. Me? Of course. Who was all set to raise you as a nihilist too? Yitzhak, does he participate in all this? Yitzhak tried to outdo himself in cruelty. He took a razor blade and began cutting her breast and pubic area. <coughs> he sliced the nipple. <coughs> of her left breast. <laughs> he held it, repulsed and terrified like a dark red cherry in his fingers, and then tossed it to the floor. We all know if we let compassion into our hearts, everything will collapse. What am I paying for if you Arabs have with us? Isn't the only good Arab a dead Arab? Then why am I feeling remorse? What death have we descended to? We really have descended. <sighs> he wasn't an insect. He wasn't a piece of trash you throw in the garbage. He was a man with terrifying eyes and facial features that shrieked. He was a human being. And a few days ago, he died in my hands. You're signing on that warrant. I'm regaining who I am. It's this horrific slaughterhouse the place you prepared for the arrival of the Messiah? Is this our religious message? Are you going to build the sacred kingdom with low life like this? My heart is broken, my bones are shivering. The land is filled with debauchery and waves with curses. The fields where humanity once thrived have withered. Where is Father Lawrence? I'm here. We've reached the summit. The character you called Abraham Manuhim have become whole. What about my end in this play? How do you imagine it? And King Sikia ordered that Jeremiah be put in a prison and the loaf of bread be brought to him each day from the baker's market until there was no more bread left in the city. They come with pleasant expressions smiling, and put you on a straitjacket and take you to an asylum. What about you? What awaits you? 
the hatred of the Israeli and Arab Zionists. Then let us feel pity for one another. Pity, or possibly hope.